Good morning everyone, this is uh, Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning. Uh, just taking you through um, a job that was done a couple of days ago. I'm doing a voiceover by the way. Uh, yeah, this is a builder's clean on a pretty large property as you can uh, tell from the video. Uh, this was done for, um, it was a member of my family that um, built this house so I'm sort of jumping in and sorting out the windows as they're really bad. Um, I'm going to talk today a little bit about how to sort of price a job like this and sort of how to get it done. Um, because if you've, you know, if you've just started window cleaning, you're probably not really going to get a chance to do many jobs like this for a while, but they will come up, so it helps to be prepared for them. Uh, I'm just showing you sort of what I'm using there for the job. Uh, that's a liquidator channel on an Unger handle, which I've just started using, which is nice. And uh, yeah, this is, so you can see sort of how bad these windows are. Uh, covered in brick dust and all sorts of um, glue, silicon and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, not very easy to clean at all. Right, so first off, um, as you can see, you're probably going to have to do these windows tr traditionally. Uh, you're not really going to be able to get the necessary sort of scrub and uh, detail that you'd need with a Waterford pole, um, especially on a builder's clean. I always say on sort of first cleans I prefer to do them traditionally. Um, anyway, rather than using a water fed pole, but you can get away with it pretty easily um, with water fed pole on a first clean, but with a builder's clean, no chance. You have to be up close to that glass, you have to use a scraper. Um, you know, in some cases, you might even need chemicals, um, but I've always sort of been fine with just a scraper to get the, the glue and the, uh, the brick dust and the, the render a lot of the time that's stuck on the windows. As you can see, a lot of this house has been rendered. Um, and it was all over the windows um, so yeah when you're doing a job like this I'll take you through sort of how to price it in a minute but you need to keep all of these things in mind um, because it's very difficult each single window you know each pane is going to take a matter of minutes each time whereas you know on a for even a first clean you can sort of smash out you know one pane of glass in less than a minute um, but these one section of windows are going to take five, ten minutes on some cases, you know, maybe even 15 minutes in other cases if they're really, really bad and you have to double scrape each window and go over it multiple times. Um, but as you can see on here, I am cleaning the glass. Uh, well, I'm soaping up the glass, then I'm wiping over the frames to get usually the top half of the frame. I will look better, yeah, the top half of the frame, I'll clean that over um, while I'm just letting the glass soap up and you know start to clean itself and then I will squeegee off uh, the soap that's on the window then I will reapply the soap then I will scrape the entire window then I'll reapply the soap again and then I'll squeegee off and usually the window is pretty clean then um, and then I'll obviously finish off the bottom half of the frame uh, and that's usually my method so soap up the window do the frames squeegee off reapply the soap scrape it off reapply the soap again and then squeegee it off, finish off the frames and you know that will sort of sort you out for most of the windows really. So it, you might not be needed, you might get away with um, just going over the window normally twice without even needing to scrape it which is ideal. If you get any windows like that on a builder's clean you're very lucky <laughs> and you probably will have charged a lot so you'll be having a good day there. But um, but yeah it's a, it's a long process but you need to make sure it's done right especially if people are about to move in. I mean in this case they'd this job was meant to be done sooner really because they moved in a few days ago um, yeah they kind of wanted it done beforehand obviously before they moved in but I was too busy so it had to be done afterwards um, so yeah but you know you just get it done when you can uh, I priced this job for the entire day so I was you know willing to spend an entire day there to get this job done properly so that the customer was happy Right then, so next up is your equipment. Uh, I'd recommend a hell of a lot of um, microfiber cloths. I think I went through about 12 on this job. Um, you know, it's doing it inside out, it's a big house, you're gonna get through uh, a lot of cloths. Uh, they get dirty really, really quickly with all the dust. Um, secondly, towels, so you want plenty of towels for wiping, wiping down the frames, obviously, because they get really filthy really quickly. And secondly, you want some really big towels to put down when you're doing inside. Um, if the house has already been decorated, there's going to be a lot of fresh, neat, nice paint, skirting boards, everything. Now you don't want to be getting, usually they're done in white as well, you don't want to be getting dirty water on that because it's going to stain it and you're going to find yourself in trouble and you're going to have to be paying for the damage that you've caused. 
So yeah, put to towels down everywhere when you're doing a window and be very, very careful not to spill any water anywhere. And from that point, speaking of paying for damage that you've caused, you really, really want a scratch waiver. Now, I can honestly say I've done hundreds of new build houses, I've done hundreds of first cleans, and many, many, many builders cleans, and I have come across a scratched window every single time I've done one. Um, it's just a fact of the matter, you've got 20 guys on site, all messing around, fitting windows, walking through the house with the scaffolding poles and all sorts of things, things get scratched. Now, they won't realise that it's been scratched because the windows are covered in dust, render, glue, all sorts of muck. Um, but they could have been scratched on the day they were installed, they could have been scratched a week after they were installed, uh, you just don't know. But once you've cleaned those windows and you've cleaned the dirt out of those scratches, guess who's going to get the blame? So you need to make that very clear from the get-go that any scratches you are not liable for, uh, you want it up in writing if possible, um, yeah, and sort of make that agreement with the contractor in the first place uh, to save yourself getting stung, having to pay for brand new windows that are probably very, very expensive. Uh, luckily for me with this one, as I said, it's a member of the family, um, so yeah, it would have been completely understood if I came to him and said, this window scratched and that window scratched. Um, but it's just a given, to be honest. There'll be small scratches on the odd window here and there and big ones on some, it's, you, you can't be helped. It's just a fact of the matter. So make sure you protect yourself. Uh, that's a very important one. Right, and the final point about scratching the windows and causing any damage. Um, now on residential cleans, regular cleans, uh, it's nigh on impossible to scratch a window, to be honest. Um, but on builders cleans, uh, it can happen very easily. Um, because of the the debris that's left on the window, you've got sharp pieces of render, uh, concrete in some cases, um, yeah, all sorts of stuff that's stuck on there, and literally stuck to the pane of glass as well. So if you're soaping up that window with your applicator and really trying to scrub it in, you're dragging that concrete, cement, render around the glass. Now, when you're putting pressure on that, it's very easy to scratch it. So I would recommend really lightly soaping up the window. Don't, you know, go 10 to the dozen on it. Uh, just really lightly soap it up. Let the soap do its job for a minute and then scrape it off, um, you know, with a razor blade, uh, keeping it very flush to the window to get rid of all of that stuff. And then when you soap it up again, um, you know, you don't even need to apply pressure then anyway, um, but you could apply a little bit more pressure and then just squeegee it off. And that's going to stop you uh, dragging anything um, sharp around the window basically uh, so it's just another way to be a little bit more careful and make sure the windows look brilliant um, there's going to be some things that can be left on the glass especially even after this first clean is done it's, if they're really bad it's going to be hard to get absolutely everything off so you need to try and explain to the customer um, that you can get the 99% but there's, there might be a few things here and there that you just can't see um, that might show up, say, when the sunlight shines on it the next day um, that you just couldn't see on the day. So um, that's another thing to be mindful of as well. If you're promising an absolute perfect 100% completely clean pane of glass, uh, it's a bit of a tall order, to be honest with you, um, especially after a house is just built. The small little marks and there's going to be glue and stuff and maybe even some fingerprints that you just can't really see from the angles that you're at. Uh, but that sort of thing can be tackled with a regular maintenance clean. Uh, whether that's from you going forward or if you've just been contracted just to do a clean and someone else is going to follow up and do the regular cleans, uh, that can be explained to them, uh, either by you or the customer. Uh, yeah, that's just a little tip because if you do sort of promise that you can do absolutely everything, uh, you're either going to be there for a week um, or you're going to be getting some complaints. So you need to really sort of manage the customer expectations um, and either way it's going to be a damn sight better than how it was. So just remember that. Right then, so finally we're on to the pricing part, uh, which is probably what most of you have come here for. Uh, yeah, it's a difficult one. Um, again, with all pricing, everyone's going to be different. You've got to remember your location, uh, how you're going to be tackling this job. If you're busy, if you really need the work, uh, that's something a lot of people tend to forget. It's like, oh, how much would you charge for this? You know, and it's like, you know, if I 
I hadn't worked for two weeks, so I'd do it, I'd do it cheaper. Um, but if I'm fully booked up and it's going to put me uh, at a struggle to get this job done, you know, then I'd be charging more. Um, so you need to remember your own personal circumstances, uh, you know, with stuff like this. So I could say, yeah, charge X amount for this job. But if you really need that work, I'd recommend going in less because there's more of a chance that you're going to get it. Um, and on me personally, I did this job pretty cheap, uh, a lot cheaper than I normally would, as I say, because it's someone I know, it's mates' right, uh, you know, that's just how it is, and I'm happy doing that. Uh, whereas if this was just a random person that approached me, I probably would have went in at double the price, because I can do other jobs, you know, I could do a roof clean that would take the same amount of time as this did, you know, and make five, six, seven hundred quid uh, minimum, compared to what I made on this, which was a lot less than that. Which begs the question, how much can you charge for cleaning windows? Because when I first started out, um, the biggest house I ever did, I think, was about 40 quid for a month to clean. Um, and then I went and I remember I walked up a really long path to this huge mansion. Um, it had not long been built as well. Uh, and to my surprise, when I said, do you want a window cleaner? She said, yes, how much? I was stunned. I didn't know what to say. Uh, I'd never cleaned anything near as big as this. And I blurted out, oh, you'd be looking at 100 quid. And to me, I was like, it was hard for me to say, 100 pound for, for a house for cleaning some windows. That was crazy numbers for me back then. Uh, I look back now, all my days, that should have been 400 quid, that job. It was huge. It took two people two days. You know, so maybe even more than 400 quid. Um, it was a really difficult job. Sorry about this scuffed camera angle here, by the way. I didn't realise it was so low down. Um... But yeah, so what I'd say, going back to the original point, builds, cleans, um, work out how much you would want to make on your best day of work. So if you have got a regular window cleaning round, um, if you went balls to the wall all day, uh, did every house you could possibly do, you didn't even take a break that day. So say, let's say you did 25 houses, um, all traditional, all with, let's just call it, just for math, my math's sake, uh, £10 a house. You're looking at 250 quid for that day, right? You want to be pricing jobs like this, similar if not more than that. Uh, you don't want to price it, say, for your day rate. I'm doing air quotes there. Um, because, say, your average day rate, you pull in 150 quid, um, which is great. You know, it's good money, but this is a job that you are going to be doing once. So is it worth your day rate or is it worth a bit more than that? because it's never going to be as dirty as it is today. You know, you're doing them a favour. Um, it's a tough job, it's not easy, so it should be your day rate and more. Now, I did this for my window cleaning day rate, um, you know, and that's as a, as a mate's rate for, um, you know, for the contractor. Uh, whereas if I was going to do a house like this normally, I probably would have been in at 300 odd quid for a job like this. Um, not saying that's what you should charge, but that's just how much I would charge for it. Um, yeah, sort of around that. Now, some people might find that really expensive. You might have someone turn around and go, whoa, no way am I paying that. Um, but if they're living in a house as nice as this, I'm sure they can afford it. Um, and when you think of how much money it costs to put them windows in, to have them cleaned and all of that dirt and dust and render cleaned off those windows... You know, three, four hundred quid is nothing compared to the price of the window, is it? So I'm sure they'd want the job done properly. And if you're charging figures like that, you're charging good money to be there for an entire day to do a job like this, then they'll already know that you're going to take care of that, that window. You're not going to be in a rush to just blast it out and get it done and get out of there back to your £15 houses. You're going to be taking your time and doing the best job possible and looking after their investment. Uh, yeah. So that's about it really, just coming to the end of this. If you're wondering why there's marks on the outside of that glass, uh, it's because this part was filmed before I did the outside so that I could see what I was doing uh, and see what was exactly on the outside and what wasn't. Um, so yeah, I should have switched these clips around really, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think I've covered everything there. Uh, I've probably missed some stuff out. Um, but yeah, if there's any uh, particular questions, just put them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Uh, and I'm approaching 300 subscribers, uh, which is crazy, man. I only hit 200 like the other week. So I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning. And I'll see you very soon. Cheers.